everybody throwing everybody around the room, that baby coming out, it's torture for her. But as soon as that baby comes out, she don't even remember the pain anymore because she's so happy with the baby she got. And that's what it's going to be like with the kingdom. What's, what's, up, what's your question? You remember this brother here? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me give you a flyer. I need one. Remember that week when I came back? Our YouTube is on there. Our email is on there. Yeah. And they're all praise the most high. And nobody good with God. And nobody good with God. Because I was thinking it. It's like the Sabah Judah. And you were in like the Sabah Judah. Yeah. That's right. The true Judah. Yeah. I grew up around. Israelite brother. Oh, praise the most high. Oh, okay, okay. okay. I know that. Yeah, we are here every Saturday. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. Yeah, we are every Saturday. Okay, okay. I'm about to leave back out. I'm down there in the country now, man. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Sometimes you gotta get out of here. You gotta get out of here. Yeah, my son, my son, though. Hey, hey, hit us up on YouTube or something. Check that. All right, kid. All right, kid. All right, show up. Brother, right there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You guys know the story? You know the story? Let me show the camera. Show the camera. You know that story? 14 years old. Uh, 14 years old. Uh -huh. My grandfather was on that case. Oh, wow. Okay? And I'm, I'm not racing, okay? But it bothers me to see what people are doing to me when they're black. You don't live in the life, but to see. And um, I used to play stickball with black brothers and, you know, Puerto Ricans back in the 70s and the 60s. Right. Much more of the brothers who used to with us. Right. But my grandfather always told me. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, my man. Take your time, Speak man. on it, man. Yeah, take your time. Well, no, you, you know, you know, no, 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 I hear you. No, I hear you. Because I, I know damn sure it bothers me. So you, you take your time with that. That's right, you rush it. Yeah, but I'm being penalized every day for the white. I'm being worse. Yeah, but I'm being penalized. You know what I'm saying? Now, when you look at that picture, you look at the education. The person that joined at the body being hung was George Bell Fitch's grandfather. That was George Bell Fitch's grandfather. Oh, okay, and you know, and you know that that was George know, Bush's grandfather. Now, okay. well, Prescott Bush, right? Huh? It's Prescott. It's grandfather. And you're, you're a federal agent? Yes, 27 years. And, but anyway, um, like I gotta say to you, you know, you know, it's hard, man. It's really hard. You're, you're black, black to me, you know what I'm saying? Got the same skin, same heart. Different color, that's all it is. Sure. How do you want to penalize these people, hang them? No, he just came here. Only fourteen years old. Oh yeah. I got his picture in my living room, bro. You know. Yeah. And now the judge, you look it up. The judge, seventy years later, found out this kid was innocent. Right. Because they said he killed two white girls. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of cases happening like that. And the deal and all that. It does, bro. But my point is this, man. It's never gonna be over with racism. It's always gonna be here. Look at Donald Trump, that piece of shit. I tell you what, don't you know, too. Well, he's no good, bro. I'm saying he's real KKK. You know you? We know Trump is racist. And Trump said it straight exactly. up, he's racist. But look at this brother here. They burning him. He, he act like he's not, they but he really is. They burning him like he's a... Like he's nothing. Like he's not even a human being. Like he's a piece of wood. Like he's like a piece of wood. Like he's not like he's a... And they uh, sitting there looking at this. Then they're going to gather up and see a black man being hung from a tree. Like he has no rights. They take pictures. Like he's not human. They put him on postcards. They send him to the What he's saying is real. It's in the Bible. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 1. Verse 5. Verse 5. Go ahead and read verse 1. That's the spirit. Verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. He said, Set your face against Mount Seir. Mount Seir is where your people used to live, the Holy Land. It's, 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 uh, if you look at Mount Seir, the capital is Petra. It looks just like the White House. It looks just like Greece. Those pillars with the triangle on top, that's back in Mount Seir. Read verse 5. Wait, 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 wait. I want you to hear it. Verse 5. 
because thou had had a perpetual hatred. All oh, these people have a perpetual hatred, right? These people have a perpetual hatred. Back in, nowadays, we call that a selfie. A selfie in front of a burning body. You know what? And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. And they shed the blood of the true children of Israel. All the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. Uh, what's the name? Thomas Jefferson said that. He said, I shudder for the fate of America when I realize that, that God might actually be just. And that we might have to pay for all the atrocities we did to these people. We are. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. They shed our blood, right? Like you said. We are. By force of the sword. Uh -huh. In the time of the calamity. And in the time when we were at our lowest, they did it to us, too. It wasn't enough that we were in slavery and poverty. They needed to do that. They needed to burn us alive. We are. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Uh, we are. Therefore, as I live, say the Lord God. The Lord God said, as I live. Like how we say, I put that on my mom. I put that on everything I love, he, he bows on himself. He said, as I live, I will prepare thee unto blood. He's going to prepare these people for blood, for what they did to our people. We don't. And blood shall pursue thee. Uh -huh. And blood shall pursue these people. We don't. Sit down. That's not hated blood. They don't hate blood. They even eat blood right now. They want to raw snake this blood as it gets. We don't. Even blood shall pursue them. So blood is going to pursue them. Now, now, it's what's crazy is that it, with, your, with your people, you seem to see what's going on, right? Right. And what's crazy about the Bible is we we're dealing with the pain of what our people didn't do. Our people did the wrong things, so now we have to suffer for what our ancestors did. They did not come a day. Well, you got, so, so you know what? So you know what? Let me read this to you. Lamentations. One more thing. Lamentations four twenty one. It's the book of Lamentations, chapter four, verse twenty one. Bring it out. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. Because, listen, the most I got has all these nations, and all these nations are going to have their own judgment for what they did to us. Right, we're being punished now. All the other nations are going to be punished later, according to the Bible. So he's talking to your people in this. He says, because you come from Edom, the land of Edom. Read on. That dwellers in the land of Ur. That's your land. In, in the order is the holy land, right? Read on. He says, rejoice at this point. Because at this point, you know what we have to deal with as a people. You know, and it seems like an affection, right? Read on. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. This cup is what we had to drink. They fed our kids to alligators. That kid can't be more than three, four years old. They hung our people. They burned our people alive. Read on. Thou shalt be drunken. So you, our, your people are going to have to eat this cup too. Look at this lady. She's proud of this. She's going to have to drink this cup also. Read on. And thou make thyself naked. And this, you're going to be exposed. Your people will be exposed for all the evil things they did. Read on. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished. Uh -huh, the punishment for our sin, this is what our punishment was for what our forefathers did. So when it's over for us, your punishment begins. Read on. O daughter of Zion, uh -huh. he will no more carry thee away into captivity. And then we have no more slavery. And then your people are going to be punished for what they do. He will visit the iniquity. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Is it important? Is it important? Okay, go ahead. I'm going to you. I'm going to say to you, man. Yeah. There's really no explanation. You know what I'm saying to you? I, I'm a white guy. I look at you. No difference. We played basketball together. We hung out together. We had the field together. You know what I mean? We did everything together, man. Yeah. My ancestors did what they did, they totally wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I told you before, it bothers me. I'm being penal like, oh, the white guy, the white guy, the white guy. I hear it, but I don't say it. I just don't support it. But it bothers me. Because so you feel like you're, you don't want to be associated with that. No, it's not. I was associated with it. So you're ashamed of it. You're ashamed of it. So you're ashamed of it a little bit. I'm just curious. That the children of these people will come and complain about ungodly fathers. Yes. Now, and then that you that you've inherited these lies. You work you work for the federal government. Yes. FBI. Yes. Do you know about Jagger Hoover? Of course. And what did he say he wanted to stop? Then of the rising of what? A black Messiah. Right? Because in this Bible, the Messiah that we all know and well, he was a black Messiah. Part of the secret that they want to conceal 
this is who we are in this group. And if we knew who we were as a people, we wouldn't be out shooting each other. Bring it out. We That's wouldn't be out. Yeah. We, wouldn't, we wouldn't be sitting in poverty That's dealing with said. all this. Bring it out. He just said, we hear a lot of stuff that the NYPD does. Yeah. And the statistics right now, the black community, they kill each other, they're raping the women, they're doing this, they're doing that. You know what I'm saying? But I, all I got to do is be myself. Yeah. I want to see the evidence. I can't Me trust too. you unless I see evidence. Me too. You know what I'm saying? Right. DNA. Me DNA. too. So you mean tell me? Yeah, Junior. I was on his case. And I got his picture on my wall, too. And my sister thinks I'm very holy picture on my wall. You know what I mean? Right. That's what I feel in my heart. You know? So, hey. so you, you really feel you really feel bad about the process that your people did argue. Who did be my first book was I read in school? Groups. Well, my first book I read in school, bro. So you know about how they, they beat our names out of us? So this is why we don't know who we are in school. So you know who you are. But well, we know who we are. We're trying to tell them. We're trying to tell them. And half of them don't want to listen. Most they of them don't want to listen. They by a guy that's homeless right here. I'm going to tell you the story. This is the report, 1979, okay? And my mother, I had $50. My mother gave me $25. My father gave me $25. My birthday money. So I walked by the man. It was snowing hell like hell. And she called me and said, Kelly, come here, why? I said, why, mom? You don't pick him up by the way you had a Christian. If you don't pick him up by the way you had a Christian. So I pick him up with my birthday money and spend it on him. And when I walked away, I felt good. You know? But there's so much shit going on in society, man, that we cannot solve it. We're never going to solve it, bro. Yeah, we're actually the brain. We are not going to solve it. Mafia, he's a KGB. He's a criminal, he's a murderer, he's rich. He don't give a fuck about nobody. But it's gonna happen. He's gonna chill on and on and on. Look at the Egyptians, man. I've been saying to myself, how the fuck they built these pyramids? How the hell they did this? All oh, extractions came. I don't know, I wasn't there. The first but some way, it happened, man. You know what I mean? That's one of them. Okay, you know what? Uh, he, he's saying some things. I want to show you something about it. Read that Jeremiah. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, verse 19. Bring it up. Oh Lord, my strength uh -huh. and my fortune right. and my refuge. Uh -huh. In the day of affliction, in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come the Gentiles, unto me. That's you, they'll come, right? Unto us, right? From the ends of the earth. They'll come from all over the ends of the earth, right? Say what? And shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies. You're aware of all the lies and atrocities that your people committed, right? It's Read in this. the Bible. Read this. This is the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 3. Talk no more, see me proud. God, God's telling our people, don't talk and see me proud, right? Let not let not let me see come out your mouth. For the Lord is a God. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. mouth. Those guys tell us not to be proud. Read on. Let not arrogancy come out of thy mouth. Right. Your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge. The Lord is a God of knowledge. And by Him actions are weighed. And by Him what? Actions, actions are weighed. Way. Actions are weighed. Okay. So now let me tell you something. You know the Bible says that your people, as a whole nation, would have to repent, which is not going to happen. So you, as an individual, you're saying you're 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 not with what they did. My opinion, but God says actions. As an individual that's right there, I'm not gonna judge the kids or the adults. They should all burn or right out. Period. They should never ever come out of there. Period. Well, let me tell you what. Our people, this is all we're going through. Our people in all these project buildings, we're in hell right now. Yeah. There is no burning furnace. We're in hell right now. And there's no respect to person. Old, young, babies. Like 15 years ago, he told me, he said to me, yo, why do you think they built houses? And I said to him, they built a house. Yeah. He said, it's a nigga house. Right. I looked at what he said. But I didn't say nothing. Then he told me, after that, he said, what do you think the last thing you're going to do? I said, I don't know, he told me. He said, the priest, they all knew the tie there. I told my supervisor about that. He said, the nigga house. Check it out. Okay, what, what thing? What thing? He never talked to him since then. I don't really know. I, I, I like how you talk. 
We just read out of the book, the most high God ways go by action, right? Do you know there's a way in the Bible that you as an individual, it says only he judges nations. So for your whole nation, you escape the punishment, your whole nation would have to feel the way you feel. But it's not going to happen, right? But you as an individual, this is what you can do as an individual. And then let's see and how sincere he is about how bad he, because he knows what we're going through. He knows what we're going through. Let's see if he feels, uh, how he feels about the Right. It's the book of Isaiah, 16. Because he says he feels bad about this. He knows firsthand what our people go through. I thought that was the point. I thought that was the next one. Right, what's that thing? Okay. Listen. Right now, you want freedom. Everybody has We're right. still not free. We're still not free. And you agree with me, right? Read this. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 14. Right. The sons. Also of them that afflicted thee. That's you. The sons of them who afflicted us. The sons of the people who afflicted us. Why is a Haitian guy walking around speaking French with an Irish last name? Because all your people participated in the slave trade. All your people did these horrible atrocities to us. Right? Shall come bending onto thee. They'll come what? Shall come bending onto thee. They'll come bending onto thee. Right? And all oh, they that despise thee shall bow themselves uh -huh. down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord. Right. So do you believe that we are the children of God? Yes. Right. Now, you, the Most High God said he judges nations. And that you're, as a nation, you would have to deal with it. You know why I said myself sometimes? No, no, no. What I'm asking you is what the Bible says. Right. right. I listen to my opinion. No, 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 I'm asking you what the Bible says. Right? Yeah, green No, so the Bible says if you were really sorry about what your people did to our people, you would bow on your knees to say sorry for what your forefathers did, to separate yourself if from I what your forefathers you, did. Because the, the, the most high God raised action. If I get the nation to see me bow, what they did, I'll do it. Do it right now. You can't because you got pride. No, no, no. You, got you, you got too much pride to do it. You got too much pride to do it. Look at your own selfish. It has nothing to do with pride. My heart is big. The heart is the, heart, the Bible says the heart is desperately weak. Yes. And who can know it? We can talk about the Bible all day long. One. That's why we're here. That's what we do. We that's do that's talk about the Bible all day long. I'm Read the Bible. You. Jeremiah 17 and 9. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. The, verse 9. The heart is deceitful right. above all things. The heart is deceitful above all things. It's and, so wicked. It's deceitful. and desperately wicked. What is the heart? Yeah. Desperately, desperately wicked. wicked. It's deceitful and desperately wicked. Read on. Who can know it? Who can know it? People come and say, oh, in my heart, I, 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 I feel okay. Uh, you know. Good actions, actions. Day to day to night, I don't care if sleep. Yeah. Yeah. You hit those kneecaps, and you'll be able to sleep tonight. That's right. You hit those kneecaps, and you'll be able to sleep tonight. You don't have to hit your kneecaps. I hit my heart. Yes. Jesus said, "Yeah." But see, that's the problem. We hurt every day. I agree. I watch my people get gunned down. Right. I see. I see my best friend get gunned down right after high school graduation. My racist cops. AR-15 in that chest. And let him be your family. What if it was your family, though? It's worse. The most I God said, the punishment that our people got, your people are going to get it. Your people got a punishment coming. It's wrong. Right. And you have the luxury. You have the luxury of sitting back saying, "Oh, this is fucked up," but I don't have to do anything. No, this is fucked up, but I don't have to do shit about it. You have that luxury to where you don't have to face it, but we have to face it every day. I face every day. You see it every day, but you don't have to face it every day. Is it on you? No. What does it feel like getting pulled over because you're black? That's right. What does it feel like I getting beat over. down because you're black? What does it feel like getting your ancestors and bodies thrown in alligator back pits? Right. Back were, your, were your people ever thrown in alligator pits? Back 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 after I'm done, I'm saying back something right now. Back. 
our people, you're trying, I'm talking about our children, who are thrown in the alligator pits. And you're telling me, can you talk? I'm telling you, the, the white man, woman, and child has done us a horrible disservice. And the Most High God put us in your hands because we went away from his commandments. But you and your people, you took it too far. You overdid it. The Bible says that your people took it too far. I can't be judged for them, bro. That's yes, you can. No, I can't, bro. Really? Sure, judge, Job, hey, Job, Job 34 and 19. Say something to you now. Job 34 and 19. Can I talk now, please? Yeah. All right. Here in Fordham, five years ago, I was my father, my grandma, my sister, my brother in the car. Yeah. Then food goes over. Two of my heart. And he started questioning them. And told me, I have, keep quiet. I'm here. I do the talking. So I said, listen, I got my blood, I got my shield. When I show him my shield, now he backs up. And then he backs off, right? Hold up, hold up. Right? Well, let's be talk now. All you got to do is show that FBI badge. Yes, I bet mean, he backed way the hell back. Yes. So now after that happens, he called yes. yes. the supervisor. The supervisor came to my car. I said, I want to talk. I want to look at you on. I want to see your captain work for. I went back and put the report out. Okay? The report. Went back down there, gave him my report. They suspended all five of them. Uh-huh. Without paper feet. Now my brother asked me, my brother asked me, what happened with the Puerto Rican guy or the guy? You think they're so responding? They don't respond because you're a sheep. That's a true, I think that's true. No, in my opinion, man, there is no justice. You know there is no justice, but let me tell you something. The Most High God is going to bring the justice. Right? That's right. And the reason why there's no justice right now is because your people are in control. The wicked rule right now. This is book of Job, chapter 34, verse 19. Wow. How much less to him that accepted not the person, persons of princes? Read on. Nor regarded the rich. God doesn't care if you're rich or what if you're a prince or not. Read on. More than the poor. Uh-huh. For they all are the work of his hand. Uh-huh. They are all the work of his hands, right? In a moment shall they die. Uh-huh. And in a moment they're all going to be gone, right? Read this. Lamentations where we, we bear our, 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 our father's sins. Uh-huh. This is the book of Lamentation 5 and 7. Right. Our fathers have sinned. Our fathers have sinned, too. Our fathers broke the laws of God. So your forefathers have done wrong, and our forefathers have done wrong, right? Read on. And are not. And they're gone now. Those same people who raped, robbed, and murdered our people, they're already gone. Right? Read on. And we have borne their iniquity. But we have borne their iniquity. The sin that they committed, we are answering for it. Which is why your people's foots are on our necks. Because we sin, our forefathers sin. And we can't get away from it. We can't run away from it. We can't separate ourselves from it. So you can't separate yourself from what your forefathers did. I agree with you. You I can't hide hurt. from it. You, got, you can't run away you. from it. I you got to deal, deal with it just I like they do. I'm not done. You. you have to deal with it just like they had to deal with it. Daniel was righteous, and he still went into slavery with all the rest of his people. Ezekiel was righteous. Jeremiah was righteous. But they still had to go into slavery with all of their people. Because God judges a nation, right? Not individuals. Not an individual. Read on. Go ahead. What do you got to say? Thirty and nineteen. I got to go. Yeah. All right. Nice meeting, my brother. Meeting you, By the way, what's your uh, uh, what's your nationality? Your father? You're Irish. One more for you. One more. This is the Book of Isaiah. One more for you. The Book of Isaiah, fourteen twenty one. Right. Prepare slaughter. What about God said? Prepare slaughter. What about God said? Prepare slaughter. What about God said? Prepare slaughter. For his, children, for his children, for his children, for the iniquity, for the sins of their fathers, of their fathers. One more time. Prepare, prepare slaughter. Prepare slaughter. Prepare slaughter. Like I said, prepare a mass killing. Read on. For his children, for the children of the people, for the iniquity of their fathers. For, for what your fathers did, the Most High God, something got something coming for you. Just like he got something for us, which is why we are on the bottom and everybody walking by here is coming out the projects. So you have to realize that. Now, if you want to go work against that, when you run into your friends who are black, Latino, Native American, tell them they are the children of God. Tell them they are the Israelites. Tell them the Bible is their history. Tell them the Bible is their history. You want to tell me your name? What's your name? Robert, when you meet people that are black, Latino, Native American, you tell them they are God's chosen people. That's right. right. 
Tell them right now that you'll do that. You promise you'll do that. Tell them there are God's chosen people. Hey, hey, I, got one more, I got one more question for you. You say that in your precinct, all they do is talk about how the black people are, are raping each other, selling drugs. So you talking about? Yeah, he said they were raping people. That they were bad. They, they were raping. They were on drugs and all that kind of stuff. In your same precinct, you can't tell me that the Italians ain't ain't doing that kind of stuff. You can't tell me in the Chinese community they're not doing certain crimes. He knows that well. He's fair. I can't, no, I, I can't judge them for what's fair. They do it. But if I hear it, then I'm a judge. But I'm saying you know it's, it's, it's predominant. They got guns and cocaine oh, yeah, and all that kind of town. It's predominant. The, everybody seems to be focusing in on the so-called blacks. You know what I'm saying? But we know that the Italians are murderers and, 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 and killers. We know the Irish are murderers and killers. We know the Chinese. We know the Japanese. We know all of them are doing that. So my point to you is, though, that it's really foolishness to even hear someone say that in the precinct um, that they're focusing in on what the blacks are doing because it's a conspiracy against the so-called blacks, Latinos, the Native Americans. That's right. And that's, that's what right. you have to do when you're in those circles. You have to stop the guy right there and say, wait a minute, you mean to tell me Chinese ain't doing it, Italians ain't killing, his whole life they're like not that. doing it, they're not doing it too? Your job will be gone. They might even, they, you might even find you with a horse head in your bed. Good for you. They'll get rid of you if you do that. That's all right. That's right. That's what they're going to do, all right? We know it's a conspiracy against our people, though. And that's what he's telling you. That's right. I'm just seeing that man right there burning, brother. What are you telling me, man? Bunch of crap, man. The only black people got crime and only black people killing each other. That man barbecue. Right. I got you, buddy. I'm going to take care of the only ones. This whole land was built off of niggas. This whole land was built off rape, robbery, and murder. Nahum 3 and 1. Nahum 3 and 1. Yeah, we're going to read it anyway. Nahum 3 and 1. You know what Nahum 3 and 1 is? No. We're going to bring it out. We're going to bring it out. We're going to bring it out. Let me tell you, he's a federal agent. That guy's a federal agent. He showed us his FBI. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. It's the book of Nahum, chapter 3, verse 1. Bring it out. Jen Elizabeth. The high priest rose up with brethren and Nahum, that's me and Maya. Give me Nahum. Oh, Nahum, my bad, my bad. Uh -huh. Nahum, chapter 3, verse 1. That dude's a federal agent. Yeah, what? Nahum 3 and 1. This is the book of Nahum, chapter 3, verse 1. Yeah. Woe to the bloody city. Yes, woe to the bloody city. Woe. Woe means destruction, right? Read on. It is all full of lies. This land is full of lies. Full right? of Read on. And robbery. And robbery, right? God. The prey. Woe to the bloody city. You blacks, you Latinos, you Native Americans, you are the chosen people of God. You are princesses walking the earth. You're God's favorite people. That's right. You are princesses. You gotta know that. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's in the history books. It's in the archaeology. It's in the damn dirt. Words was deception. We seen through it. They formed a weapon. The saints marched through it. Before Armageddon, the chariot swooped him. Swooped him. Yeah, yeah. Words was deception. We seen through it. They formed a weapon. The saints marched through it. Before Armageddon, the chariot swooped him. Swooped him. Swooped him. Babylon smoking, the sky crack open, and your son come back for me. Son. We gon' be riding like the Maccabees. We gon' be riding like the Maccabees. Babylon smoking and the sky cracked open and your son come back for me, son. We gon' be riding like the Maccabees. We gon' be riding like the Maccabees. For three transgressions of Edom and for four. Even if they holding gas reaching, leave them in Jehoshaphat bleeding. Reading while I hold a strap, rolling with the soldiers. Please let me be your battle axe. Word of God, got a hold of that. Iron rod holding that. Break them into shivers. See my brethren coming chariots and litters. Words was deception. We seen through it. They formed a weapon. The saints marched through it. Before Armageddon, chariots swooped them. Riding like Jonathan, Simon, Judas. Words was deception. We seen through it. They formed a weapon. The saints marched through it. Before Armageddon, the chariots swooped them. Riding like Jonathan, Simon, yeah. Judas yeah. Babylon smoking and the sky crack open Your son come back for me, son come back. We gon' be riding like the Maccabees, riding like the Maccabees. We gon' be riding like the Maccabees, riding like the Maccabees.